Hey YouTube, I gotta make this real quick. It's Sunday, so you know what that means for me. I'm, I'm getting ready to go off to church, which is why I'm all, you know, dressed out with the Sunday suit on and everything. Let's see. Okay, but I wanted to come on really, really quick to encourage you um, that the Bible says in Hebrews, forsake not the summing of yourselves together. That means you need fellowship. You need somewhere to go. You need somewhere where people understand you and they understand the things of God. They understand your needs and they're sensitive to where you are in God. And you also need somewhere where you can be challenged, where you can be edified, where you can grow in the Word of God. And although I praise God for YouTube and uh, MySpace and different ways in which we can come communicate with one another, nothing replaces being able to tangibly touch someone who believes like you believe, who feels like you feel, who loves like you love. Um, what am I talking about? Going to church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we are the church of the living God. Amen. We are the body of Christ, but we've also got to go to a fellowship um, somewhere where we can be edified, we can be challenged, we can be stirred in the word of God. A system of accountability, some help for your journey, some one to pat you on the back and say you're doing a good job or somebody to even kind of look you in your eye and say maybe not so good but you need that place of fellowship i'm about to go i just wanted to come on here and uh, talk with you really quickly i'll be preaching this morning from the topic about uh surviving the rain of loneliness we've been talking about can you worship in the rain at promise center you can go to our other um site at um youtube.com backslash prophet is stacy that's s-t-a-c-e-y um and look on that channel for uh clips from can you worship in the rain and can you worship in the rain uh play on words r-a-i-n r-e-i-g-n and today we'll still be talking about the rain different types of rain and this time we'll be talking about the rain of loneliness because it's going to rain in our lives in each life to uh to every season in every season uh some rain must fall or however that quote goes but we have confidence in the word of god that he is our shelter he is jehovah nisi he's our banner he's our protector even in the rainy seasons and so you know what I learned how to be? I learned how to be a rain dancer. That's right. I learned how to praise God through the rain. I learned how to worship Him through the pain, through everything that I had to go to on to through uh, in my life. And so on today, just want to encourage you. Just want to come on. Amen. Nothing deep, but I pray that these words speak to right where you are if you're in a in a season in which um, you need God to really help you uh, with some things. And I want to encourage you. Go to the page later. Check it out. Uh, we'll be talking about at Promise Center. Can you worship in the rain? Uh, this is going to be, I think, part two or three. I'm not sure where we are in this series. I don't have any notes in front of me. Um, and in this uh, part of this series about worshiping in the rain, we'll be talking about the rain of loneliness and how loneliness can actually be one of our best friends. It could be our best gift gift um, because we can give to God all of our time, all of our energy, all of our service, even in those lonely places. But know that there is a friend that stick it closer than a brother. His name is Jesus, and he has promised us that he will be with us always, even until the end of the world. This is Stacy Wood saying, Pastor Stacy today, <laughs> saying enjoy Jesus and all his joys. And remember, you make ministry possible. Bye-bye.